All right, just got home from work. I'm about to film like 17 videos in one sitting. And people are gonna say, Matt, how come you're wearing the same shirt in like 17 videos in a row? Can't you afford new clothes? And I'll be like, yeah. But I'd rather buy video games. Wouldn't you? What's going on guys? Matt here. And you probably clicked on this video because you saw the thumbnail and the title and you were like, your, your eyes lit up like, <gasps> A fast and fun platinum? Wait, those exist? Oh my god, what, what could it be? Well, I'm about to show you. This right here. You haven't bought this, hear that? Quality. Buy it. It is a phenomenal, great game. Spyro the Dragon, or Spyro the Reignited Trilogy, rather. All three games are great, but we're specifically talking about the first one. As you can see, right here, fastest platinum achievement awarded two years ago. Good job, you motherfucker. You aced this easy breezy kids game. Good job, dipshit. <laughs> No, but seriously, uh, in all seriousness, if you guys have not played this game before, or this trilogy, um, I highly, highly recommend it. These games are fun. They are awesome. Uh, seriously, when I was a kid, I owned all three of these games on the PS1, and I played them quite literally religiously. I played them all the time. I was fucking addicted to these games when I was a kid. And then when I saw the Reignited Trilogy was coming out, and it looked fucking beautiful, and like they did a bang up, bang up job with this game, I was like, God damn, alright, I'm, I'm sold, I'm convinced, let's relive my childhood. But seriously, this game is actually so well made, and they're just such fun, great games, that even if you didn't play them back on the PS1, they're some of the most fun you can have gaming. Now... I guess that depends on what kind of gamer you are. Some some of those hardcore gamers who are like, Oh, that's a baby game. I'm not going to play that shit. I'm going to fucking go trophy on Platinum Diablo 2 later, nerd. Nerd. But you know what? I mean, do what you do. That's great if that's the kind of person you are. But I'm just saying, I am a... I consider myself to be... Not the hardest of trophy hunters, like, I don't do the fucking crazy wanna blow your brains out shit for trophies, but, um, I consider myself a pretty avid trophy hunter. I got some, I got some pretty ultra rare trophies and, like, some notable ones at that uh, under my belt. I definitely know what it's like to bust your ass for a fucking platinum to the point where it isn't even worth it, but you do it anyway because... That's just the completionist in you, and and exactly why trophies are more of a curse than a blessing. But I digress. Spyro the Dragon. This is exactly the type of game that I would recommend to any and all trophy hunters. Especially the hardest of trophy hunters. Because those people, uh, you know, speaking from experience, need a break. You know, you, you shouldn't just trophy hunt the most asshole, lamest, trophyless trophies on the planet all the time like 24 7 you gotta fucking cut that shit up you gotta fucking talking heads is anyone gonna get that joke i might be the boomer in me talking i don't know if anyone's gonna get that <laughs> but honestly like i'm being completely serious right now like there's nothing better than coming off a trophy list that just kicked your fucking ass and made you bust your balls and just absolutely make you do the most mentally strenuous job to try and get these motherfuckers for, uh, for trophies and coming off that and then coming to a nice casual quiet little nice game that's just a lot of fun it's very whimsical it's got great music fun gameplay and it's just a collect-a-thon. You run around collecting shit. It's fucking fun, okay? I mean, 
it's it's funny because it's completion it's the game like when you play spyro you hop into a world and you know you got to get all the gems you got to get all the dragons you got to get all the fucking that whatever the fuck else the collectibles are it's been a long time since i played it back to 2019 yeah, just going to a world and, like, leaving it, having collected everything, it's it's kind of like trophy hunting, you know? Like, you hop on a game, you get all the trophies, you get off the game. Same with Spyro. You hop in a world, you get all the collectibles, you leave the world. It's kind of, you know, is that the best analogy that I can go for? I, I think it's pretty good. Either way, yeah, they're casual, they're not that difficult. In fact, they're pretty fucking easy. But you know what? They're fun, and they make you be like, Wow, so this is what it's like to genuinely fucking enjoy a video game again. Like, oh my god, sometimes trophy hunters need to be reminded what it's like to have fun in a video game, okay? Because, and you, you guys know who I'm talking to. You know who you are. The people who absolutely fucking send themselves to the seventh circle of hell or whatnot to get a fucking trophy. And it's usually just one. There's always that one motherfucking trophy. You know what I'm talking about. But yes, Spyro the Dragon is just so much fun, and honestly, there's not much to say other than that. And it's quick as shit. Look, I got the Platinum in 19 hours, 48 minutes, and 28 seconds. And a funny story about that, when I picked up this game and then turned it on and played it, it, it was right after I came home from work, and I was just so captivated and enamored. I was like, oh my god, it's, it's literally my childhood, except it looks beautiful. It's not... PS1 polygons anymore, it, it looks fucking gorgeous, and it's the same game, exactly the same, it hasn't been changed for the worse in any way, it's only better, because that's what good remakes do. And I was so fucking addicted from the word go, that I literally started it that night, or that evening rather, when I came home from work, and literally played it, I, I was up till like, 4 or 5 a.m., and then I was like, Fuck it, I'm calling in sick. Because I was supposed to go in the next day. <laughs> and that's that's that should tell you right there just how good and enjoyable this game is. Uh, that it made me fucking call in sick the next day just so that I could fucking finish it uh, in one sitting. And I literally stayed up that all night that whole night. I stayed up till like 8, 9 a.m., I think, uh, into the next day. Until I fucking had the Platinum. <laughs> and honestly, no regrets. And it's one of my most fondest gaming memories. Uh, and it's a memory that I certainly treasure. I, I love how nostalgia just came back and hit me in the fucking face with like... And, and just put the biggest smile on my face. Spyro the Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Do yourselves a favor. Pick this fucking game up and play it. And love it. And remember what it's like to be a kid again. And just absolutely love playing a video game and fastest platinum ever okay that's the the key headline here remember that the, not only are you having fun gaming you're getting trophies faster than ever record timing what trophy hunter wouldn't want that who would say no to that what are you kidding me this shouldn't be much of a sales pitch and I'm sure some of you guys are thinking at this point, Matt, why didn't you just make a video talking about those really cheap $5 games you could buy and you platinum them within like 30 seconds? Why didn't you just talk about that? Because I don't give a fuck about those degenerate, scummy, trophy hunting games that people literally only buy just for the trophies and not even for the game. It's questionable whether or not you're even wasting your money. Uh, I guess if the trophies matter that much to you, then it's not a waste of money. But if you're only playing the game for the trophies and you don't even like the game or give a shit about the game itself, it's like, I'm sorry, what, what the fuck? I mean, I'm a trophy hunter, but I have a fucking uh, set of standards, okay? Like, I can't bring myself to do that. I won't buy a game just solely for the fucking trophies, which is exactly why I recommended Spyro, because not only is it a fast, quick, and easy platinum, but it's a really fun one and a genuinely good game. And that's why I recommend it. Instead of that other trash garbage that you guys are buying. You better not be fucking buying and doing that shit in my chat. <laughs> Just kidding. Do it if you want. But uh, I might judge you. But anyways, guys, I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I truly hope that it made you smile and that it made your day and that you end up walking away from it with a brand new great game and another platinum under your belt. And you know what? If you are walking away from this video, being able to say all that, 
you have me to thank. You're welcome. And, you know, feel free to show your gratitude in the fucking comments below. Please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course hit that notification bell to support me. I'd really appreciate it. And of course, whenever I live stream, if you want to come by and check it out and hang with the gang, it's a fun time! I'm kind of a fun guy, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, you know what? The choice is yours to find out. Have a good one, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Take it easy, and I will definitely see you in the next one.